Okay, yup, yeah, yeah. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Prince Tay and welcome back to Prince Tay's Tarot, okay? Make sure y'all hit that like button for me. Alright, please and thank you. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to continue to support the channel. Okay, we're gonna get right into it. It's gonna be a visionary message real quick today. Alright. Um, as well as y'all wanna go ahead and book a personal reading with me, feel free to DM me. I offer 35 minute video FaceTime call readings as well as uh, fifteen dollars, excuse me, twenty dollars for three questions on Prince Taste Tarot over here. Okay, so if y'all wanted to get a reading with me, feel free to DM me on Instagram, and we can go ahead and get that booking set up. Um, and that request, go ahead and uh, get that set up as well. All right, so visionary, this is gonna be for y'all. Okay, for my visionary messages, what's the energy here? Okay, I also feel as if I don't know. I feel like um, I don't know. It's very strange. Uh, the energy is. Uh, I was listening to a song. I was listening to like this song called Whipping in a Car with You, but then I was also talking uh that, that song like stuck out to me. That's my song. Whipping in the car, whipping in a car with you, okay? So y'all could be wanting to, you know, I don't know, just go somewhere, do stuff, kind of like mix up the energy a bit, you know, kind of um, you know, change up the scenery a bit so you can, you know, get some more energy or change up the flow of the energy here. So that could be very significant to y'all as well. I'm also hearing um until we hit this all right don't you ever go don't you ever go darling I, you're all that i know you're all that i know yeah, yeah. we'll make time uh, to make good uh, okay so i don't know um maybe someone could really want to you know just hang out with you like just be in your energy be surrounded by you or this could be you as well in this energy visionary just wanting to kick it like i feel like a lot of you all could be in a very lackadaisical type of energy just like vibing right i'm not saying that y'all aren't getting anything done or anything like that but i'm feeling like y'all just pulling it for the majority of the time so let's get into the energy here let's pull some cards here okay from my visionary messages here. all right i've seen the emperor energy here so i feel like a lot of you all are having some sort of great deal of determination over something here more specifically with the emperor energy yeah we have the hierophant here so definitely an energy of um guidance to some extent here i'm here i'm hearing no guidance but by Chris Brown here, but I feel as if some sort of guidance that you have been receiving here, okay, some sort of goodness, some sort of uh, expression of kindness or generosity here even, okay, especially when it comes to knowledge or spirituality here. So a lot of you all could be, you know, um, learning more about spirituality, getting some advice here, okay, getting some counsel, okay, wise counsel with the higher fit energy as well, all right? We have the judgment energy here coming up on the bottom of the deck as well as the two of wands here, right? So I feel like um, we have the moon card as I split the deck as well. So with this judgment energy, I feel as if you're going to be, you're about to be receiving a, a like a positive outcome to something here. You're going to be start receiving like the, the seeds that you've sown here, okay? You're about to start seeing the harvest for yourself here as well, okay? Um, with this energy of judgment here, I'm getting an energy of like um, decision making, okay? I'm also hearing practicality here. So some sort of decision making, especially when it comes to maybe just, you know, your own outlook on things here, okay? Your own, what you want for yourself, what you see for yourself here, more specifically with the judgment energy okay we have the two of wands coming out here as well so this could be um maybe judgment over a specific person here okay maybe um a decision has been made or okay wow we have the sun we have the chariot we also have the star these three cards um specifically uh stand out to me here okay so with the sun the star and the chariot energy here okay i'm definitely seeing an energy of like you know self-fulfillment here okay i'm hearing i'm hearing a mo momentum moving in the in the right direction here okay double confirmation with that chariot energy as well so i'm definitely feeling as if you are continuing to move forward not only move forward but move in the right direction and i also feel as if you all are really getting back to your actual energy your like yours yours i'm hearing synergy but synergy as well like what you who you are like moving towards a much happier or much um i don't know just a much better expression of yourself here okay with this sun card energy this is my sphere guide card one of the one of many here with the sun card energy but this talks about exuberance as well um as society and as well as like you know just joy okay i feel as if you could be focus on like the brighter things of life i'm hearing mr bright side here okay yeah three of wands again here okay so talking about some like practicality here i feel like a lot of you all are really using your head and really using your logic when it comes to things more specifically okay more as um more than like the passionate side of things here with the three of wands okay the three of wands reads 
practical knowledge, business acumen, strength, okay, with that strength card, energy, strength, enterprise, negotiations, trade, commerce, undertaking, import, or export, and business here. So a lot of you all could be wanting to maybe you know, work with other people or, you know, change up, you know, some sort of contractual agreements here, okay? But I'm definitely feeling as if you're exercising some sort of strength here when it comes to this, um, especially when it comes to the practicality of something here with the Three of Wands energy, all right? Let's see, Ace of Swords, Spirits of Angels, Ancestors, Six of Cups here. This could be a past energy here, someone that, that you had worked with in the past here, okay? Confirmation with that with the Page of Coins. This individual you could have made a small investment with here in the past energy with the Six of Cups as well. Or maybe there's an energy of past life um, that, you know, kind of influence in this reading or influence in this decision here, okay? Yeah, something in the past that you possibly could have discontinued to put effort into that you could have broke off here, all right? Yeah, possibly um, it had to do, you could have possibly had to, you know, make a trip somewhere or went on a trip of some sort here, okay? That possibly ended in an energy of stagnation here or the hangman energy, okay? This very Piscean energy, so you could be a Pisces or could have been dealing with a Pisces here, okay? But there is an energy, yeah, there is an energy of regeneration and rebirth here, okay? With the Ten of Cups energy, this talks about an energy of um, wish fulfillment here, okay? Um, I'm hearing ecstasy as well as um, self-esteem here. So it's not about your self-esteem here. It's very much so um, um, improving, increasing, or important here. Okay, yeah, Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, as things continue to kind of work in your favor, as you continue to ride, ride the wheel here, okay? I feel like it's kind of like boosting your self-esteem, like boosting your ego here a bit, okay? Let's see. Spirit says in this ancestors. What's the energy surrounding my visionaries? Ooh, hold on. Let me get a... Um, let me get a clean shuffle for y'all. Okay, let me get a clean, even shuffle, y'all. Yeah, I'm waiting on this, like, I'm waiting on this lady to call me. And I just been chilling for this. Yeah, Ace of, Cup, Ace of Coins here, but no, I'm waiting on this lady to call me. I'm just chilling and thought I'd do a reading for y'all real quick. But with this Ace of Coins energy, this talks about something that is going to be a very lucrative um, payout for you here, okay? With the Ace of Coins, something that you could possibly have been waiting on here more specifically. But with this Ace of Coins, this just talks about an energy of bliss here, okay? I feel like whatever this energy is that's coming into you with the Ace of Coins as well as the Ace of Wands, this is going to kind of like light a newfound fire under your ass here with the Ace of Wands energy as well here, okay? Let's see. This is something that's kind of going to reignite that passionate energy here, okay, for you. Okay, there's some sort of collaboration um, that you could be looking forward to, all right? This could even be like a birth of a child. The Ace of Wands also talks about sex here. So a lot of you all with that sacral chakra energy does not have to be here, okay? But you all could be, you know, feeling a little spicy, okay? <laughs> with the Page of Swords coming up in reverse here and the Two of Cups, you could have... um. You could have found out the truth about a specific or a certain two of cups energy here, a friendship here. So, someone's like someone's um, pure and true intentions have been revealed to you here. Okay, with the page of swords in reverse as well as the two of cups upright here. Okay, spirit swords, angels, ancestors for visionary messages here, which is why you're possibly looking forward to um, maybe this person could be a great deal, could be a great distance from you here, but I'm getting, which is why you're just looking forward to whatever this is that you're manifesting for yourself here, okay, as well with the Six of Swords energy. All right, have you on that Swords energy, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius here as well. Could be dealing with the one that you could have that highly aspected in your chart. Let's see. Spirits and ancestors for my visionary messages. Okay, closing messages for my visionaries. Yeah, we have the Ten of Coins. We also have the Queen of Wands here, all right? So definitely some sort of... um you know, looking forward to whatever this kind of lucrative, I'm hearing lucrosity, okay, I'm also hearing curiosity, okay, but um, but with this Ten of Coins energy, I'm definitely getting an energy of, you know, um, stability here, okay, and Ten of Coins is definitely talking about some sort of longevity, all right, contractual, contracts is very significant here, okay, maybe uh, re-going through things, you know, going through things, figuring out the best possible way to go about something here that's going to benefit you in the long run here as well with the Ten of Coins energy. Okay, yeah, Queen of Wands energy. You could really, much, very, really much so be embodying this uh, Queen of Wands energy, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Very life force esque, very sexy, very confident, very creative as well. Here, okay, you could view this person as the Queen of Wands here. Okay, the Queen of Wands is very um, um, understanding and as well as just a very good counterpart to have. So, this could be someone in your energy or someone that you're considering to be this Queen of Wands esque energy. Okay, the Queen of Wands could come off as a bit. 
you know, promiscuous and a lot of things. People like may say that here, but the Queen of Wands is like a she's a social butterfly. You know, that's her job. The Queen of Wands will often work in the entertainment industry, communication fields, things of that sort, things of that nature here. Okay, Queen of Wands ruled by that sun energy, that expressiveness. Okay. Um, I'm hearing fashion could be very important to a lot of you all or just, you know, performing arts of some sort here with the Queen of Wands. All right. OK, but with the King of Swords energy as well, this could also be another masculine energy or a masculine energy in your field here or um, that is has their eye on you here. OK, with this um, King of Swords energy looking towards this Queen of Wands here. OK, the King of Swords, the very, um, very strong businessman here. OK, I feel as if this is a cycle that has been ongoing. OK, but I'm definitely getting that this King of Swords definitely has is looking your way here. I'm hearing, baby, won't you come my way? Got something I want to say. First off, let me start by saying this. Hey, hey, shots, if you think you can take my name in. Hey, okay, so we have the Eight of Wands coming up in reverse here. So there could be some sort of like jealous and envy, jealous, envious um, energies or people or just in general here, possibly around this situation, around you and this energy, around this kind of like King of Swords and Queen of Wands of like um, connection here to a certain extent. Yeah, with the lover's energy here, okay. Um, I feel as if you are both very good looking. Okay, with the lover's energy as well. Um, I'm also getting bromance energy. So this could be like a more of like a bromance type thing or a cis man. Okay, whatever you want to call it here. But I'm definitely getting that this energy is going to be possibly ushering in a journey of some sort. You all could be wanting to take a trip or moving passionately. Take, you know, continuing to move um, with passionate action and passionate um, decisive uh, decision making here with the Knight of Wands energy. Heavy on that fire energy. Okay. Um, something about tranquility is very important to you as well. Yeah, we have the emperor energy. So you could definitely be in this boss-like energy, continuing to handle business as you should or as you feel like you do here. There could be an energy of you maybe feeling overburdened to a certain extent here, okay? There could be a need to, you know, um, you know, uh, fill your own cups, fulfill yourself here. Don't overburden yourself with trying to um, kind of show up as um, more than what you can at the time. Not saying that you can't show up as yourself but you know make sure you're prioritizing yourself you don't want to continue to feel you know overburdened about certain things here okay but i also feel as if that you you can see that this feminine energy could help you kind of take these burdens off your shoulders here um this queen of wands energy yeah we have justice here so i feel like you both bring justice and balance um between and to one another here with the justice energy as well we have the hermit energy here so again, with this energy of like counsel here, okay? I feel like a lot of you are taking some time alone to gain some sort of knowledge here, okay? Um, so about your independence here, we also have the Ace of Swords here and we King of Wands and Temperance energy here. Yeah, like I said, so definitely taking the time to like fill your own cups here, okay? I feel like swords, like spirit is heavily surrounding you and whatever it is that you do here, especially creatively here. I feel like you have some sort of connection to source here that really comes through um, to you or through um, when it comes to your creation or your creatability here. We also have the strength card energy on the bottom of the deck. So continuing to exercise strength here. This is my other um, spirit guide card energy that actually came out with the strength energy. So continuing to contain, to contain, to con to um to um have control or conviction or maintain some sort of control over a certain situation or maybe over even your own emotions per se here okay with this temperance angel and exercise patience here i feel like you have a lot of fire you're very sexy here whoever i'm speaking to okay visionaries it's always funny King of Wands and King of King of Wands and Queen of Wands. I said King and King because this would be same sex energy, but Queen of Wands and King of Wands always come out in my visionary reading. So that really talks about that creativity here. Okay, tapping into that um that masculine energy for that creative that creativity here. I also feel as if you and this person match each other on a creative aspect here. Okay, but this isn't about love. This is about um exactly taking action for my visionaries here, stepping outside your comfort zone and doing things that you um you know that feel that fulfill you here that thing. Uh, things that definitely bring in that emotional fulfillment that complete just like overflow of goodness okay for yourself is what i'm getting i'm also getting goodness gracious here so something that you have been doing maybe you, just the way that you've been showing up it's just like you know or maybe you can feel like you have so many tasks on your plate right now it's like goodness gracious here but i definitely 
see with the six of wands coming up that there is going to be some sort of success and victory okay with the six of wands some triumphant and good news coming in for you here okay visionaries all right uh, yeah after some sort of transformation or transition here okay with this death card energy all right even an invitation to a certain extent okay all right child. i don't know when to stop once i start so i'm gonna go ahead and wrap the reading up thank y'all so much for watching it's in princess tarot make sure y'all like the video okay if this reading resonated with you um go ahead and uh, follow me on instagram subscribe to the youtube channel and yeah we're gonna kick it <laughs> it's in princess tarot i'll talk to y'all later see you bye